I think some people when they hear autism and Asperger's, they think, oh, they're going to be really inappropriate, they're going to be rude to people, or they're just not going to think things through. And well, sometimes that's a little bit true, but a lot of the times we're observing people and we're trying to understand what's going on in this situation and how can I respond correctly. And in an employed environment, like in a retail store with rules on how to handle customers, I'm th pretty sure that we'll fit in perfectly in that situation. Well, I actually started working with, quote, disabled um, when my kids were in um, elementary school. I aided at the, um, the elementary school in PE. And I was comfortable doing that. I played all kinds of sports and everything else. And then I get a special ed class. And I'm thinking, oh, what do I do? I set it out my goal. I work with those kids for one session, but then they're integrated into at least one or two classes during the day with the quote regular kids. And often they had a stigma of I don't want that one on my team or whatever. My goal was to have them want those kids on the team. After I graduate TTW, I want to still continue to go on to school and take classes so I can become a medical assistant. After this program, I'm going to transfer to this other program. It's an internship at Lee Sealed Packard. Our students here learn to wear a whole lot of hats. And again, they're, they're the meet and greet. Um, often we will get a TTW student who is very quiet, will not make a whole lot of eye contact. And when you're a cashier, you have to do that. And so some are very outgoing when they come in the program and get better. Some are very reserved and not comfortable working with the public. And by the time they leave, they're absolutely fantastic. After TTW, I would like to maybe get a job in the office. When I graduate from TTW program, when I graduate from there, I want to work at either Pittsburgh or at a San Francisco Bay Aquarium. I'm working for the DRC on Fridays for their front desk. And uh, I like it a lot, learning a lot of things I've never done before. I like uh, meeting new people and helping them out uh, if they need directions or uh, answering answering phones. Uh, I uh, I like it because it's it's a re very relaxing area. Sometimes it can be uh, pretty busy, but when it's busy, I can ask for help from uh, other people I work with. Uh, my disability is Klein-Falter syndrome. It is a genetic difficult uh, disability about your uh, your uh, chromosomes. Like a guy would normally have XY, a girl would have XX, 46 chromosomes. For me, I'm a little bit more uh, unique. I have XXXY, I have 48 chromosomes. And uh, mainly deals with we're easily irritable, we're at least six feet tall, and uh, we can't create our own testosterone. We have to take patches for life. He has turned out to be really great. Oh, so, so is Rodrigo. They're both very outgoing, which is, is very good. I mean, they stick to their job, but they know how to greet a customer to make them feel at ease, which is really great.
I think just his honesty and friendliness and dedication, he'd be a, he'd be a home run for a lot of people. Yeah. Yes, he sees things from a different perspective and has a lot to <clears throat> offer. Um, a hard worker. Um, there isn't a job or responsibility that I haven't given him or my mother or, you know, his uncles, and he gets right to it. He, you know, he's also reliable and very yeah. uh, trustworthy and um, has integrity. He has a high which level Which he can bring to, uh, you know, an office situation or corporation or, or things like that. You know, he brings a positive energy. I think that he would be a terrific employee um, for any company or corporation. Um, not only conscientious, hardworking, honest, he'll never be late. He will treat all of his uh, co-workers just really tremendously. You know, as people get to know him, they recognize these things. But initially, you know, that, that's our biggest fear, that initially people might underestimate him. We just kept encouraging Matt and giving him the responsibilities that he would need um, and not to feel that he in any way couldn't do what he would set out to do. And we encourage them to ask questions, hopefully not the same question over and over and over, but I tell them, ask questions. Asking questions is good. That's how you learn. That's how we all learn. What I learned in CTW about myself is that I can continue something, even if it seems really hard. Um, if I'm encouraged to do something, like a job and a class, um, and there's a there's the nice future ahead, a comfortable job and a comfortable living situation, then I can encourage myself to do stuff. I would have to say work makes me more productive instead of uh, staying at home and sleeping and playing video games. Uh, work is great because you get paid and you get money and uh, can't hate money. What I want to get out of a job is a comfortable situation, um, some contentment in life and I want to be able to do some things that I like. Um, I don't know, go see a movie sometime visit my friends. I've made a lot of friends in TTW too. Those are friendships that I'll definitely keep. My job will expand my social circle and expand my options in life. I can move into an apartment and um, start doing some things I like on my own time, like uh, writing stories or something, poetry. If employers would take a little time to let these this population, Michael, people in this program, similar people in that coming from here, to let, give them an opportunity to understand the position, process what they need to learn to do a good job, um, give them just a little more wiggle room to settle in, then they would discover they have a real successful employee and not be so quick just to um, give up on them maybe if they're taking a little too long to process the skill needed for the position. But once they get it, then they're all over it, you know, and that's, they're a really good hire, so you hope they would understand, and they probably would. A number of them have come back and said, I'm applying for this job, will you write me in a, a recommendation? Absolutely, absolutely. And some have come back and said, I got the job. Hmm. That's really cool. I think people misjudge some people with disabilities because they're a bit different, but actually we're just, we just learn things differently. We're not, we're still people. And we're, and we're also trying to get a job, like a whole bunch of people in the world. So I think understanding that just because we learn things a bit differently, it doesn't mean that we're going to be a bad employee. In fact, we might be the employee you're looking for.